I remember really distinctly when I was in high school, waking up coughing and gasping for air. And I thought, that's really weird. First time that I realized that there might be something that wasn't normal was when I was in college. And my college roommate, out of nowhere one morning said, do you notice that sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night, you sit up straight in bed and you're gasping for air? And I thought, wow, like there might actually be something wrong with me. Hey, how Hi, you? how's it going? Mm -hmm. I went and met with my doctor and they suggested that I see a sleep specialist. I'm Dr. Kwan. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you. How can I help you today? Well, I had some concerns. I think I might have sleep apnea. So I went to my doctor and just asked them about it and wanted to get some advice. And they suggested that I see a sleep specialist um, because I'm really tired during the day. Okay, well, let me ask you a few questions first. Um, do you snore? I do. Jackie's a young woman who came to see me because she thought that she had sleep apnea. At the time of her first visit, she had many of the symptoms that one associates with sleep apnea. I'm frequently falling asleep during class. Um, I'm napping a lot. And she would also occasionally wake up short of breath uh, in the middle of the night, which would suggest that she was having an episode where she was not breathing at night. It seems like sleep apnea is something primarily experienced by middle-aged men. So I'm just surprised, like, as a college student, is this something that's common? Like, why am I experiencing sleep apnea? Well, the thought that only middle-aged men can get sleep apnea is a common misconception. There are several factors that determine whether or not a, a person can get sleep apnea. We find that people who have a history of snoring and sleep apnea in their family are more, more likely to have it themselves. The other thing is that people who are overweight get sleep apnea at a much higher rate than people who aren't overweight. So what's happening while I'm sleeping? Normally when you breathe, air goes in through your nose or your mouth down into the lungs. And this occurs whether you're awake or asleep. In sleep apnea, when you fall asleep, the tongue relaxes and falls back against the back of the throat and blocks off the airway. And if the situation were to persist, you would have a fatal event. But fortunately, the brain realizes that the person is not breathing. It wakes up just briefly and then the person is able to get the tongue out of the way and get air in and out. Now, if this was only to happen once or twice, it would probably not be a significant event. But in sleep apnea, this happens repetitively. One event after the other it may occur hundreds of times per night. I had no idea that I was waking up as much as I was. Um, I was waking up 27 times every hour. And during each of these episodes, when the person isn't breathing for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, or well over a minute in some cases, the person's oxygen level is dropping in their blood. This puts a strain in your heart, and recent research has indicated that sleep apnea is a significant risk factor for heart disease, that is, heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, as well as premature death. I mean, if I didn't have a roommate, I probably would have never known that that was happening. And then realizing that it was an actual problem, I mean, like an actual medical problem that sh should probably be treated, that was really scary for me too. Before we say a person definitely has sleep apnea, they need a confirmatory test called a polysomnogram. Sleep apnea is a condition which is underdiagnosed because many people don't realize that they have it, but it is very treatable. It's been three years since I was treated for sleep apnea. It feels so good, sleeping soundly and waking up and feeling ready to actually do things. It's unreal. It feels so good to be able to just be awake. <laughs> that seems silly, but it feels so good to be able to sleep through the night and then be awake during the day, which is something that I wasn't ever experiencing before.